last week we had the debates with, between Romney and uh, Obama and Romney's oldest son, who happens to be 42 years old, he's a little bit older than me, and he jokes about wanting to climb down off the stage because between when Obama and uh, Romney were having their debate, he wanted to climb down off the, onto the stage and punch Obama out. Really? You are, are, are you like five? <laughs> You're supposed to be a 42-year-old grown adult. The only person that would want to do something like that, I have no self-control and have no self-discipline and you want to have if you're the son of somebody like that and your 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 father is running for president i would hate to see what power he gives you if he got into office joe your thoughts it's not a presidential debate it's a boxing match yeah <laughs> i thought they were going to hit each other it was like they they, they start walking towards each other and they were like barking at each other a little bit i was like whoa this is getting kind of hairy i jumped on twitter i was like what are people saying and everybody's like fight fight i was, like, I, was fight. Anyway. I saw that i was yeah i was like oh someone's gonna take a swing <laughs> ding ding <But> yeah. <laughs> what <laughs> she said ding ding <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I, I i agree with what you just said packard i mean when i first read the headline i was like oh, okay well how old's his son like what 14 15 i like, 42 yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't make jokes against violence towards the president. That's mm. something you're allowed to joke about. Like, you know, I mean, years ago I read this story about this guy back in the 80s when Reagan was president. He had made some kind of off-color remark that seemed threatening to Reagan. Um, I don't remember the details. He either mailed it into the White House or, or said it in a newspaper or something. Mm -hmm. And he got put on the Secret Service list. Oh, yeah. And every time the president came to his state, they would call him at home and be like, what are you doing this weekend? <laughs> Where are you going to be? Yep. And, and, like, you know, years later, he's an adult man, and he's just like, I regret it. They call me all the time. And, you know, and and this guy was in the same room as the president, and he's saying this kind of stuff on the radio. It's like, come on, you, you can't do that. Yeah. You know, and the thing is, funny thing is, he says, uh, I remember reading it somewhere that uh, he said, well, you know, the uh, president's got all the Secret Service and people like that, so if I had done had right. actually done that, he would have gotten arrested. It's like, Which Ugh. was premeditation. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he, like, actually thought it out that much. He's like... Could I get them? Hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of people around here that would try to stop me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I'm just glad he, he didn't try using his magic underwear, you know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 might have thrown it at him and he might have got, ah! Well, the bungee underwear is bulletproof. Yeah. <laughs> and taser-proof. They upgraded them. Oh, did they? Did they? I didn't yes. hear about the upgrade. I, well, yes. I'm going to go and get my upgrade today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Crystal, your thoughts? <laughs> Oh, that was funny. Um, his name's Tag. I, I think the Secret Service would tag him gratefully. <laughs> yes, he would. President. Tag, you're it. Booyah. <laughs> no, you're it. But no, maybe, you're it. I think maybe playing devil's advocate just a bit. I think okay. that... Really? That would, just, just, just a little bit. Uh, we, we, remember we remember little which bit. one is us uh, the devil here tonight. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, it's not me, obviously. Um... <laughs> I think it was said. It was said in jest, and he was saying that to a North Carolina radio station, which means he was just trying to fit in with the rednecks here. Okay, so let's give him a break. And and it was you do defend your friends and your family. It doesn't matter how right or wrong that they are. I mean, you're really. I think really that still is like you really want to protect your family members. So maybe that was said in jest, and maybe that really was really reality. He really. Yeah you know felt that way so i mean i, I do kind of understand i don't think i i didn't think a lot about this story uh, other than that was really a stupid thing to say on the radio but um yeah well you I, know I, if he was you, I, you know i i, I agree with t uh joe that if uh if this had just been some nut job and not uh romney's son and had said something like that they would have had the secret service on his ass sure mm -hmm. and you mean uh, if he was like one of the undecided voters that was sitting in the audience yes Exactly. Yeah, I can see that, yeah. 